Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Marcy from Quantum Critical Metals. Marcy, Quantum has the criticals. How about you tell us the priority criticals that you currently are and have? Thanks, Tracy. So currently, we're working on gallium, uh, lithium, niobium, rubidium, and tantalum on our NMX East project. And of course, you just put out news. We were just talking about this this morning about an airborne survey that had just been completed. Can you tell us in Quebec, can you tell us more about this? Sure. Yeah. On the same project, on the southern portion, we've just recently flown two airborne surveys on our NMX East project in James Bay region of Quebec. Uh, the first one detected an anomaly similar to that of our neighboring NISC deposit owned by Power Metallic. Um, so it was recommended to us that we needed to do a follow-up airborne survey to see if these conductors would continue at greater depth below surface. So we flew the second one, and the verdict is that the anomaly on our NMX East project is similar in amplitude, strike, shape, and size to the anomaly um, found at the NISC deposit, which is fantastic news for Quantum and its shareholders. And of course, this project is right around the corner from Namaska. Is that correct? Yes, it is about 10 kilometers outside of the city of Namaska or the town of Namaska. And it's also next door to the Wabuchi deposit uh, owned by Namaska Lithium. And Quantum Critical Minerals, it's the perfect name for you guys because you seem to embrace technology. You're taking exploration in the critical minerals to a new level. Uh, you talk about you utilizing AI as soon as you hit your website. Can you tell us more about why you've taken the company in this direction? Um, basically, what's happening in the world is everything is getting automated faster, better, smarter. So we're trying to use on every aspect we can in the mining field so far is to try to use AI. We upload most of our reports into AI. AI. We try to find um, correlations between our projects and neighboring projects using AI. We use also the AI to try to uh, differentiate the different rock types on the project and where the best possibilities with statistical methods using AI to try to find the areas of interest to make our exploration faster on the ground. And we're working on a few other different things that hopefully will work that we can talk about maybe next year <laughs> with the AI and exploration. Well, speaking of being forerunners, I was very impressed that you joined the 47G and you were explaining during Investor Talk why you did that. Can you share this with our audience? Sure, yeah. Um, thank you so much for the introduction by Investor News to 47G. Uh, they have turned out to be amazing contacts for Quantum. Uh, we joined late August, I believe it was. Um, the 47G Institute is an organization which supports uh, the aerospace industry defense, the critical minerals, and advanced manufacturing in the USA. Um, the reason why we joined is the Pentagon is searching for alternative sources of criticals uh, to meet their demand and satisfy the bands of the Chinese source rare earths and criticals. Um, there is a timeline of 2027 that the US has put on to um, ban Chinese products. And so they are searching actively to try to find other sources of these materials. Um, luckily, we have some of these materials, so we are um, speaking with them to see if there's ways that quantum can help to solve the supply chain problem. Uh, we joined the advisory team at 47G, and we just were onboarded last month in September and uh, participated in the Energy Week conference down there, which was fantastic, a great group of people with brilliant minds. Super exciting. Speaking of exciting, Marcy, uh, you're putting news releases out regularly and you just announced uh, MICA uh, uh, for delivering critical minerals. Is that correct in your NMX project? And also I was reading about your project in BC and Antimony. Can you tell us a little bit more about both of those updates? Sure. Yeah. So our NMX East project, uh, we're particularly looking at the MICAs we announced in early September that we identified as MICA being the key carrier of the critical minerals at the project, which is important um, because uh, 
it's easy to remove the minerals from the micas. We can float them and they're easy to work with. Uh, we had some beautiful increases in grades just looking at only the micas. We were able to tell the the areas of the rock that had the high mica concentrations also had the high gallium, like I think it was 186 grams per ton gallium that we ended up with, whereas opposed to with all the other rock in it, it was at like 40 grams per ton. So if we just concentrate only on the micas, it's significantly higher. We had uh, rubidium levels over 3,200 um, grams per ton. So uh, definitely better. So we're honing in and keying in on these micas and we are working on uh, metallurgy to, uh, we've got three different methods that we're trying to remove the criticals from the mica. Um, and we're going to see which is the most economic route to remove it and which one will obviously bring back the highest return of the minerals. So we'll keep you posted on that. It's been undergoing for the last six weeks now, but it takes a little bit of time doing the different methods. And um, hopefully we'll have all those results by the end of the year. So that'll be pretty exciting for us. Um, we were just up to the antimony project in Northern BC and also our copper and silver projects in Northern BC and uh, just did some grab samples, some access, and uh, we were sent our rock samples in, but it'll be a little bit yet before we get our returns on values and assays on that, but we will keep everybody updated on that one. Well, I actually have never done this before, but I recommend anyone interested in quantum critical metals, please go to your website and subscribe because you have such a generous news outflow and significant news. So what should shareholders be looking forward to in the next quarter? Well, the next quarter is going to be a very interesting one. Uh, both Melanie and I have been very busy going to different conferences and meeting different people, trying to expedite uh, things on all fronts. And we are still going uh, to more conferences. We have um, the IMARC in Australia that we'll be going to. Uh, we are going to the Minds and Money Show in London in December. Uh, we're coming to see you in November. So that should be fun. And um, we will be having a lot of news flow. Uh, we'll be getting results from our grab samples on our different projects out here in BC. And hopefully we'll be getting some more information from our um, metallurgy and whatnot that we're doing at our three different labs for our micas. And we're also putting in drill permits. Um, so we'll be keeping everybody updated on that because we uh, really want to get in and drill not only more of our pegmatites at our NMX East, but we also want to drill our newly found ultramafic package at the Southern portion of our NMX East project. So we'll do the drill program for everything kind of all at once to make it easy. For those of you interested in finding out more about quantum critical metals, please go to the following website. And Marcy, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Tracy.